some pond. Save some bucks. Make your own. Here's the parts for the volume pedal. This is the pedal itself. This is the case. And this is the pot holder inside the case. I'm going to start by gluing the fillers onto the side pieces. And in order to position them properly, I'm going to use the bottom. I'm going to place the side piece over here, and I'm going to push the, the bottom over there. Then I'm going to take the back filler, put it on top here, and make it flush with the back, and take the front filler and do the same thing. And I've done that with both the sides and the mirror images so they'll go together like this. I'm going to start gluing up the pedal itself. I'm going to put those on the pedal top. And now I'm going to position them using the pedal front and the pedal back and once I do that, I'm going to take the sides and position them as well so that they're flush on the sides as well. I'm going to put some glue on the pedal side and on the bottom of the pedal side. And I'll put that on like that. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other pedal side. On the back here, I'm going to take the pedal back. I'm just going to glue it right on there. And just glue that right on. And put that on. And we'll let that cure for a while. I'm going to take the base bottom and use it to support the two sides and the next thing I'm going to do is take the, the pedal pivot and place it in between like that and I'm going to make it flush with the fillers in the back and I'm going to have the slope here facing towards the back now that I put some glue on I'm going to spread it a little bit and put it in here So now I can take the base top pieces, here's the rear base top piece and the front base top piece. Glue on the side and on the edges, put it in like this, and I'm going to put it on the base itself. To make sure it's snug, I'm going to clamp one end like that, and I'm going to clamp the other end like this. I'm going to take the back and put it on here, and I'm going to take the front and put it on here. The glue has dried on the base. It's also dried on the pedal itself. The bottom fits on very nicely. We'll screw it on near the end. I'm going to smooth all the surfaces, and then we can proceed. I've sanded and rounded over all the edges so it's nice and smooth. This is the base again. This is the pedal itself. Now I've drilled two holes in the pedal. They're back about six and a half inches and they're about three-eighths of an inch up. And it's a little larger than a quarter of an inch. Now I didn't drill it earlier because I wanted to make sure that it matched up with the hole here. And there could be some slight variations better to wait and then try it out. What I'm going to do now is use these hex head coarse thread nylon bolts. 
They're a quarter twenty and they're an inch and a half long. And if you notice, since I drilled this a little larger than a quarter inch, it goes through fine. Since I drilled this a little smaller than a quarter inch, it's going to thread right in. So what I'm going to do is put this here, put the bolt in like that, and start threading it in. Okay, that side's in. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And it's in. Now you notice it's kind of loose like that. The nice thing about this process is if I tighten both sides, what happens is there's enough friction so that the pedal will stay up on its own. And that's what I'm looking for. I'm going to coat this down with the plaster dip that I'm going to use on the case itself. But before I do that, I have to drill the hole in the middle. I have to drill a quarter inch hole in this half inch dowel. And that's a little tricky, but I have a way to do it. Now I'm going to do it on a drill press, but you can do it by hand if you just take it slow and easy. Now I have a half inch Forstner bit placed in the drill press, but you could just as easily use a half inch spade bit. Using that, I drilled a half inch hole in a scrap piece of material. Now I'm going to take the dowel and put it in but not put it in all the way so that when the drill bit goes in it has to go in this half inch hole and it will automatically center a point on that dowel. And that's all we need. It's just a a marker for where the half inch uh, center is. Now with that done I'm going to take a regular quarter inch drill bit and I'm going to drill the hole through the dowel. And again, I'm going to place this in that hole just to keep it straight up and down. And there we have it. And, you might... and there we have it. Now you might notice that it's not quite centered, but that's okay. As long as it's pretty well in the center and we have a lot of material left around, we're good to go. Now, the next thing I have to do is to paint the case, the pedal, and actually also this quarter inch dowel because the plastic dip that I'm going to use, which is like a rubber coating, and it really works a lot better than paint, but this wants to go over a painted surface. So I'm just going to paint this. I've moved from my woodworking area to my electronics area and here's the pedal all done up with the Plasti Dip even the bottom is done up with the Plasti Dip the top of the pedal itself is rather smooth but, and, but it's a little sticky because of the Plasti Dip so it'll work fine I made a few before this and one I made I just glued pieces of quarter inch MDF on in a pattern like this before I put the plasti dip on. And it made a nice little pattern here. On this one, I actually took a glue gun and made little dots in this pattern before I put the plasti dip on. And that worked out pretty neat. Now when I did this, before I put the plasti dip on, I masked the inside here where the pivot point is so that the pedal did not get the plasti dip uh, build up and wouldn't be able to fit on anymore. Similarly, on this piece, I masked this, and but since this shows later on, I just put a little bit of black paint on there. I also coated the half inch dowel with plasti dip. Took an old dowel that I had and sharpened it like a pencil so that I could hold it while I was coating the plasti dip on it. 